If you were to ask me a decade ago what young developer I was most excited to keep tabs on, I suspect Laughing Jackal would be high on the list. They had just released Cubex on the PSP, and it seemed like they had a bright future ahead of them. But in the past 10 years, the UK-based company has only put out a handful of games, with the last new release being the so-so Flame Over in 2016. What we've seen since then has been a long string of HD ports for modern consoles, including the just-released Switch version of Cubex. And while it's a good game that I'm going to have no trouble recommending, this is ultimately going to be the third time I've reviewed the same game. Man, I hope this one sells because we desperately need a new game from Laughing Jackal. For being a decade old, Cubix has aged well. And it's easy to see why, since this is a 21st century upgrade of the timeless Taito classic, Kix. Much like that 1981 arcade hit, the goal in Cubix is to uncover the backgrounds by drawing lines from wall to wall, all while avoiding sparks and black holes and other weird flying creatures. It's a simple yet addictive concept that'll likely never go out of style, no matter how advanced the technology gets. Now, Cubix takes the familiar concept and wraps it around a six-sided cube. Instead of erasing parts of the simple 2D wall, you're suddenly forced to deal with a fully 3D object. While the game may be the same, this twist makes a huge difference when it comes to how you tackle the job. It's now possible to create score multipliers by continuing a line from one side of the cube to the next, opening up huge opportunities for massive point chains. Of course, the rules remain the same. If a flying creature hits your line before you erase the section, then you die. You'll also discover that there are sparks that travel around the sides of the walls, and clouds of smoke that'll slow down our hero, and all kinds of other simple baddies. It's easy when there are just a few enemies flying around, but the action gets ratcheted up the further you get into the campaign. Now, the traditional arcade mode offers 50 stages to conquer, with checkpoints set up every five levels. This is just one of several modes packed into the Switch version. There are also an additional 50 challenge stages to complete, each with their own unique objectives. There's also a lengthy time trial mode, score attack, and even a multiplayer deathmatch. Yeah, not all of these are as compelling as the traditional arcade mode, but it's nice to see the developers bring a lot of variety to such a simple concept. Not unlike the PC upgrade from a few years ago, the visuals in the Switch version are striking. There's an incredibly clean look to the action, and the laser cutting through the sides is surprisingly satisfying. That said, there's no denying that the game is starting to show its age. While the backgrounds use different shapes and change colors, they aren't much to look at. The cube itself looks fine, but it doesn't change much over the course of the game. Ugh, Cubics could really benefit from adding different shapes or backgrounds or something. And that's how I feel about most of this game. Yeah, it's still a lot of fun, and the price is right, but I'm finding that I have less enthusiasm for this game with each new port. The simple truth is that Cubix needs a sequel! From new cube shapes, to different backgrounds, to explosive power-ups, there's so much room for additional content. And they've had a decade to think about this. Come on, what's the holdup, Laughing Jackal? Look, before you even think about porting this game to the next batch of consoles coming out next year, I implore you to focus on a sequel instead. Or just add something new to the port. Ugh, I miss being excited about Laughing Jackal games. Although it's not much different from the other versions of the game, Cubix remains a fun and addictive take on kicks. The action is always moving, there are all kinds of enemies to avoid, and I love the clean look. Unfortunately, this newest version isn't all that different from the other ports. There are a bunch of extra modes to unlock and high scores to beat, but if you're like me and have played Cubix already, then you're better off just waiting for a sequel. You know, if Laughing Jackal ever decides to make a sequel. Come on, guys, don't leave us hanging. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. 
Now here's the question I have for you. What game have you played the most? Look, I'm not talking about a game that you've put the most amount of time into, but rather a game that you've gone completely through multiple times. Like a Super Mario, or a Zelda, or a Grand Theft Auto. Does that make sense? <sighs> Look, it's late. I just got done watching that Breaking Bad movie, and I, I probably need some sleep. I'm going to be excited to wake up in the morning and see what you came up with in the comments below. We'll be back next week with a review of The Ninja Saviors. So I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.